Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and everybody meet my newest little girl, Cindy Lou. And today we're doing Wednesdays We Wear Pink. This is my newest little girl I got off of AliExpress. She is the copy of the Betty. And I have always wanted her with this hairdo, you know, with the blonde curly hair, because she reminds me of Cindy Lou Who from The Grinch. Doesn't she remind you of that? Look at her. Oh my gosh, every time I see um, Dee's little girl, I can't remember what she calls her, Abby, Abigail, um, I always say that looks like Cindy Lou Who, and I always wanted one. Now she has the, the original, but this is a copy, but she is so beautiful, you guys. Everything about her is gorgeous. Even the hair, they did such a good job on that hair. Her head is so floppy. I have re-weighted her. I have given her real glass eyes. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? And I love her paint job. So all I wanna do is seal it in. The paint job on it is really good. It doesn't really need anything. And even the seal is decent, but of course I like to just give them a seal just to seal in everything. I just think they did phenomenal on her. She is gorgeous. I might do a little bit of reborning to her. Maybe her lips, look at her little floppy head. Maybe her lips change the lip color a little bit, but she is pretty good to me. I think she looks phenomenal. I love her, love her. Ever since, like I said, I saw Dee's um, Abigail or Abby uh, be her husband's favorite little girl. I've always wanted it and I always keep telling her that it looks like Cindy Lou and she said, yeah, that's what it reminds her too. So I had to get one now. I didn't have the money to get because this is a sold out limited baby or a very limited baby, expensive to get and I can't afford it right now. So I thought, what better than the one from AliExpress and I love her. I am gonna pierce her little ears, but like I said, look at those gorgeous glass eyes and just everything about her. That hair is so beautiful. Wait till you see when I start combing it. But it's gotta be up like that. I just love it because she reminds me so much of Cindy Lou, yes. And she's just in the little onesie right now. We're gonna get her changed up in something cute. We're gonna put her in pink for Wednesdays. We wear pink. I would have had up there who hosts that and I'll put it um, in the description. But yeah, isn't she adorable? So this is Cindy Lou. All right, you guys, while Cindy Lou sits and stares at all of you guys, we're gonna read God's word. Today we are on the 20th, I believe. Oh no, 21st. Today is the 21st, Wednesday the 21st. Shining in a dark world, it's called. That's what it's called. Yeah, my sweetie. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, it says, blameless and pure, children of God without fault, in a crooked and deprived generation, in which you shine like stars in the universe as you hold out the world of life, Philippians 2, 15 through 16. I have enough problems uh, of my own, a man said to me once. I'm a Christian, but I just haven't got the time or the energy to worry about anyone else's problems. I could understand his attitude. When we have problems, they have a way of blocking out everything and everyone else. And it's not necessarily wrong to give attention to our own problems and with God's help to overcome them if we can. But when our problems deafen us to the hurts of others, when they make us fall, um, when they make us fail to reach out to someone, I mean, I'm sorry, when they make us fail to reach out to someone we could help, then we have become part of the darkness instead of shining light like stars and holding out the world of life's of life as we should do you remember then god or do you remember the good samaritan no doubt he was preoccupied with his journey but he still stopped and took care of the man who had been left for dead luke 10 25 through 37. ask god to free you from whatever preoccupied preoccupies you today so you can be a light for Christ in the midst of the dark world. Amen to that. You know, we all do go through our own difficulties in life. And then because we do, we tend to forget about everybody else. You know, we put everybody else, you know, below us and we're only thinking, well, we got enough, you know, enough problems to deal with and everything. I can't deal with that person's problem and I'm just not gonna be there for them and I just don't want to. But remember the good Samaritan that stopped even through his problems to stop to help that person that was dying. You know, we need to be there for everybody, no matter how hard our life is, we need to remember everybody else. We need to remember that. That's what God wants us to do as Christians. You know, he doesn't want us to think, well, you know, you've got problems, so don't worry about everybody else's. Just think about you. 
God would never want us to do that. Put you first. Put you. You know, it's all about you, 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 right? No, we need to make sure that we are looking out for other people, trying to be there for other people, knowing that we all are struggling. Not a one of us live a perfect life. Not a one of us go through life like a breeze, you know, like it's perfect and and none of us go through pain or hurt or anything. We need to be there for others, you know, and that's where God is going to help us even get through our difficulties when we're helping other people. When God sees us reaching out, you know, and trying to help other people, he's going to help us as well. And that's what we need to do. So it's a sh it's shining in a dark world. So even though our world is dark, we need to still be shining bright, that shining star for somebody else so that we can help them and their trials and tribulation and their hard times. We need to do that. We need to show them that even when we're hurting, and I am definitely going through hurt and pain in my life, um, you know, th difficulties I'm dealing with, but I can put a smile on and make you guys smile. That's what I want to do because even though it's hard, I'm happy. I love God. Life is not perfect. I don't expect it to be perfect, and I know where I'm going when my time is up. So I just want to focus on, you know, getting through each trial that I go through, each tribulation, and know that that rainbow is coming. And I just want to smile like a shining star for you guys to let you know that everybody goes through hard times, but let's help everybody. Let's be there for people. That's what God wants. Don't just make it all about you. I could, I could definitely make this all about me with what I'm going through, but I don't want to do that. I want to be there for everybody. I want to help anybody and everybody I can. Do I always do that? No. But I try. I try to be there for as many people as I can. Even if I don't think that things are going to get, you know, better right away for them, I'll try to be that shining light. And I do know that I was told, I remember it kind of hit me when I was helping Amanda's journey when she was going through, um, Amanda Landry, when she was going through that cancer, um, having that hysterectomy, I had just gone through mine. And she said I was a shining light. She used that word, a shining light. It's like she's truly an angel. Now, do I think that of myself? No. But that was really nice she said that and i knew that i was that shiny light she needed even though she went through so much after and then had to go through chemo and all that it was just good that i could be there because she said it helped her get through those hard times that's what we need to do reach out that that hand even though i had just went through it and i was struggling because i had just had a hysterectomy i was hurting as far as mentally not physically but mentally i was hurting because i you know it was just hard to go through that and all my emotions were out of whack i wanted to be there for somebody else and I also was there for Michelle going through something she was going through from Blessing Reborn Dolls. That's what we need to do. We need to be there for others. Even if our, you know, light has went out and it's dark, we need to be there for others. Remember that. Down below for the wisdom, it says, in tempting, or it's tempting to think of only ourselves in times of trouble. Help us instead, Lord, to open our eyes to the need of others. May we be sources of comfort so the suffering and blessing to to or i'm sorry may we be sources of comfort to the suffering and blessings to the brokenhearted amen see that's what we want to do and i was at that time she said i was a shining light now do i think i was no but she thought i was and that's what i need you know what we all need to do is be that shining light for other people even though we're going through difficult times you know, I just, I reached out because I felt God tugging at my heart to reach out to her that she needed because I had just went through it and, and to reach out, even though I was hurting and, and sad and going through all my emotions that people had reached out to me too. I reached out and I was glad I could be that shining light for her. Let's be a shining light today for somebody, no matter what we're going through, put our problems on that back burner and be there for somebody else. Right? Yeah. See, just like you, you're a shining light. You're a shining star. Oh, she's so pretty, you guys. I got one of those wafers in her. I weighted her really good and everything. She's just adorable. And she is pretty much the size of the original. I think she's like 18 and a half, and I think the original is 19. Or she's 19, and the other one's 19 and a half. She's really close to it. So she pretty much is the size, the look, everything. And she's got the most amazing hair. A most amazing. Now, it is done by a factory, but it is just amazing. I'll show you guys when I get over to the table. But we want to start our day, right, Cindy? Cindy Lou. We want to start our day, go through our day, and end our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. We want to read it, study, honor, obey, and live by it. Obey it when God tells us to be that shining light for somebody else. Put our own problems on the back burner and be there for somebody else. Just like Lynn, my Bella Blessings. She's going through a lot. She's going through a battle with that cancer, you guys. Let's be there for her and be a shining light for her as well. All right, you guys. Let's get over to the table. Mwah. My sweet Cindy Lou, you are so adorable. Let's get over there and change her up into pink. 
All right, you guys, we're back here at the changing table with Cindy Lou, and she looks so cute looking at you guys. But like I said, I do love her paint job. She really has got an amazing paint job. I'm gonna take the stuff away. This is her lovey. She picked a bunny out of the loveys. I let her pick one, and she came with this pacifier. It's a butterfly, isn't that cute? I love that, that's what she came with. And she came with an adorable little outfit. I'll have to show you that one day. I don't have it out to show you, but the outfit was so cute that she came in and the little uh, socks and everything it was just adorable. But up close, I wanna show you those beautiful eyes that I put in. Those are glass eyes. Those are irresistible for $25. So they're really nice glass eyes. And then of course her um, blushing she has is good. She's got beautiful hair. Like I said, if you look at it, this is factory done, but look at how nice it was factory done. Like it doesn't, it almost looks like it was hand rooted. I mean, they don't look like they're really, they're very tiny little spots. Yes, it is not micro rooted, but it is gorgeous. I would like to change the lip color a little bit on her and maybe just add, I, I don't think that's really, I think that's it really what I wanna do to the lips, but the lips are not too bad, but change it a little bit. But even as I go down, I mean, look at the blushing they did on her. She's got veining, if you look, she's got veining, mottling. She's got everything, you guys, it's phenomenal. These babies are phenomenal. So she's got the most art to her. I have one more baby to show you that I got and I will show you. But you see, she is a little tiny bit shiny. Sometimes the light makes it more. She's a little bit shiny, so I will be matting her. But just everything else I think is perfect on her. Her nail beds are good. Um, the way they did the red and then the white tips. I just think that they did a really nice job on her. Like this one especially. The other one is doesn't have as much paint. Could probably use a little bit more, but maybe I'll just do a, like even the creases on here are really good. So I might just work on the crease a little bit, make it look a little bit more realistic, do a little bit with her and then give her a seal. But right now, if I did nothing, I think she's perfect. She is so cute. Look at her. Doesn't she remind you of Cindy Lou? Like seriously, that hair, it was that hair. It had to be the blonde hair um, enough to give her um, the, uh, you know, the pony like that, like Cindy Lou, because Cindy Lou had her hair up like that. Oh, she is so beautiful. Gorgeous. All right, so Cindy Lou, here's what she's going into, you guys. Whoops. Everything's falling, little girl. <laughs> What's going on here? All right, we're going to do a vintage dress for her. We're going to put her in this, you guys. Look at this. This was another one that was in that box. It's a vintage dress, and it's so pretty. It is a beautiful um, baby pink. It is definitely a nice pink. It's got a rosette here. It's got little bows. It's got a bunch of lace all the way around. Um, and it's the, here's the brand, so you can see that it is old. I don't even know what the brand is. Let's see if you guys can see that. There we go. And um, it's claiming to be a. Let's see what size is it? A six to nine. Um, I do believe it's gonna fit her really good. I do believe. I think it runs a little bit small. But look at all the lace work on it. The ruffle sleeves. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous with the little um ribbons the little bows look at the back how it crosses in the back and open now i wish i had a pair of bloomers for her i don't have any bloomers for her you guys not even a little white pair they're on the other babies i gotta get more bloomers but anyways we're gonna put her in this she'll just have to have her onesie showing and then we're gonna put <clears throat> these they actually came with her these little socks look at these little socks that came with her aren't those cute we're gonna put the little white socks with it and these little patent pink shoes perfect to be all pink for Wednesdays, we wear pink. That's what she's gonna wear. And we'll leave the onesie on her. And then I'm gonna do her hair and we're gonna put, I'll show you, a little, we're gonna keep it up like that and we're just gonna put a little, um, I'm deciding between the two. I'm gonna get this binder off here. Between the two, I don't know if I want this one here with the sparkle on it and the little flowers or just the plain pink. I'm deciding which one I want. I probably use the pink, uh, plain pink one. But look at her. She is so cute, you guys. Isn't she beautiful? Boy, and even the eyes it made a difference when I put in those eyes. The eyes that they send with them are not terrible, you guys. They're not terrible. But they definitely um, don't look as realistic, you know, as some of these um, acrylic eyes. Maybe, I mean, she could have been fine without it, but I just, they weren't straight blue. And I wanted the really light, light blue eye. That's what I wanted for her. So, yeah, that's why I did that. But... I just, I love her. I wanted this one so bad. And it's like, she's a limited baby. So it's like, I was looking online. And first off, to get one with the look that I wanted, this hair, first off, I can't find one. I know that there was ones done, but I can't find one. There is one with short hair that looks more like a boy on there on um, reborns.com. And I do love it. Don't get me wrong. That one wouldn't have been cute. And I still could have done ponytails, but it looks more boy to me. 
but I could have done that. I definitely could have done, you know, got that one and did, um, did it still as Cindy Lou as a girl. I just didn't like the short hair on it, but it was too expensive. I couldn't afford it. You guys, I think it was like five. Uh, no, I want to say like 600. I can't remember. I'll stick it up on the screen how much it is. Well, I didn't have that right now. I just didn't have it, you guys. And so, but I wanted one of these and I kept seeing this one on AliExpress. Look at her. Oh my gosh, that fits her good. That really fits you good, baby. Yeah, yeah, it fits you good. Um, but I wanted, like I said, I wanted this so bad. I just wanted her. Every time I seen Dee's baby, I kept saying, oh, I love that. It's Cindy Lou. Every, every time I seen her beautiful little girl, I wanted one. And hers looks like Cindy Lou. She's got the blonde hair like that. So that's why I really wanted one. You know, I really wanted one. And I thought, hey, there's nothing wrong with getting one of them done off of AliExpress. Because, again, she is done differently because she is a little bit smaller. And so it becomes theirs then. You know, there, she isn't like an exact copy of the original, but she is. You know, she does look like her and everything like that. She's almost the same size and all that. And I don't care. I love it. I want it. Look at those shoes. That looks so good with that. She is a little doll baby. <laughs> no pun intended. All right, let me take this out. But I love her, you guys. I don't care. You know what? Copy or not, I love her. I do, and I'm very happy with my purchase. I mean, she was, you guys, like 40-some dollars. After tax, I think it was like 50-some dollars. But check out this hair. Wait till you see this hair now. I'm going to show you. Where is the comb? Where did Mommy put the comb? I just had the comb here, you guys. Seriously. What did I do with the comb? Okay. This is weird, you guys. I brought this over here and I brought the comb. What happened to your comb, little girl? Oh, it did fall. <laughs> okay. Let's raise this up a little bit. We'll sit her up a little bit so you can see when I'm doing her hair. But check out this hair, you guys. This is the most phenomenal hair ever. Oh my God, this little girl has got the cutest hair. It reminds me of my Mariska, which is my copy of the Mila. And she's coming up this week, you guys. She's coming up. I got a surprise with her, what I'm doing with her uh, for which day I, I chose for her. But she's coming up and she has got the most amazing hair that, you know, is factory, but still amazing. Look at her. Look at that hair. Isn't that just adorable? Look at it. It's just so perfect in every way. And even if you want to look at the way it was rooted, it's not rooted terribly at all. Like to me, it's just very finely done, you know, rooted or whatever, which is really good. I mean, even though it's done factory or whatever, it is amazing. Amazing. I even had the lady show me a picture of the real one because sometimes they put up, you know, fake pictures or whatever. I said, would you please show me? a picture of her what she looks like the real one and they do that's all you got to do you guys is ask to see that oh she is a doll baby um i asked them to show me and they did and i was so happy oh i was happy i was i was like i want her and i ordered her right away so we're gonna go back up with the hair because i do want her to look like cindy lou so we're gonna go back up look at i don't need to wet the hair i don't need to do nothing we're just gonna go up and then pull the little beautiful ringlets down she is just phenomenal, you guys. Absolutely phenomenal. And I'm very happy. Yes, do I want the real one? Absolutely. And maybe one day I'll own the real one. But then I'll feel bad about her. <laughs> but usually what I do is if I get the real one, then I um, put the other one up, you know, for a pretty decent, inexpensive price, you know, because I've weighted it and it'll come with things and all of that, the glass eyes and everything. So, of course, it's going to be more than what I paid only because of everything I have into it, especially when I reborn it and all of that. Um, so, but it still will be a nice inexpensive price that people can afford that was been reborn, you know, and all that. And they know it's not real. I mean, I tell them that it's not real, no COA or anything, but that's how I do it. If I end up getting the real one, but I don't know, I, she's exactly how I would have wanted a Cindy Lou done, um, version of a Cindy Lou of a Betty, I should say of a Betty. This is the one I would want. So I'm probably just going to want to keep her. And that's that. I mean, she looks like, she looks just like, um, you know, just like the real Cindy Lou. All right, so we're going to get her hair on top of her head. Look at those little ringlets and everything. I mean, her hair curls so perfectly and it stays. You don't have to wet it. It feels so good. It doesn't feel like doll hair. It just feels so good. It really, really does, you guys. It's amazing. And then look at that, that waterfall that it does. Isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh, she's so adorable. She really is. And then we'll pull some little ringlets down here. 
I always love babies with the, you know, the pretty little ringlets coming down and in the back. So now I'll show you the back of it. There's the front and then there's the back. Look at how pretty that is. See the little ringlets? That is just so cute. She is adorable. So let's set her right here and put her little, uh, her little bow in. And we're just going to do the light pink. It is one of those just, you know, clip ones so it doesn't ruin her hair. And we'll go right into it like this so that it will stay. Because that's why I bindered it so that this will stay in her hair. But look at this little princess. This little pretty girl in pink. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Isn't she darling? Now let's back her up. Well, actually, the pillow thing needs to go down a little bit, this boppy, so we can keep her sitting up like this because she just looks adorable. And then go down so you guys can see, and we'll back out a little bit. Look at that gorgeous Cindy Lou. Look at her. Oh, my goodness. She is cute, you guys. Isn't she cute? Oh, I can't resist her. And especially once I do a little bit more reborning to her and give her a seal so she doesn't have any shine, at all she's gonna be perfect like I just think she was well worth the money and I'm very happy with her I hope you guys love her let's make it look like that boy are those gonna be cute photographs wait till the end we'll have a bunch of photographs for her let's give her her bunny and let's give her her bottle and her pacifier we'll put that just kind of right there and then I'll show you how the passy works works perfect for her but we're gonna go like that so you guys can see her let me turn this around just so you can see the Tommy tippy and there she is. She says, hello, everybody. Look at me. I'm a little princess. Yes, she is. She's going to blow you guys a kiss. Mwah. She loves all her aunties, uncles, grandmas, and grandpas out there, and all of her little cousins. She says hi to, I want to say Abby. I think it's Abby or Abigail. I hope I'm saying it right. I'll put it up on the screen if I said it wrong. To, D to Dee's uh, little girl. She loves you guys, and I love you as well. Mwah. But remember that God loves you the most. Reach out to somebody today that needs you, no matter what trial or tribulation you're going through. If you know somebody's going through a hard time, put yourself on that back burner and reach out a hand to them. Be that shiny light for them. I love you guys. Everybody take care. God bless. And we will see each and every one of you in our very next upload.